Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I wanted to make a short video, uh, sh short, and, short and sweet. Um, you're probably wondering, why haven't I been doing any streams uh, with the boxing um, and the exercise? And um, are, are you giving up on that? Is this just another one of those failure things? And uh, no, 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 it's, it's not a failure thing. Uh, but there has been some things that's been happening. Uh, I did want to explain it because it's um, kind of put a, 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 a wrench into some things. That's, um, yeah, it's not been fun. It's not been fun at all, especially yesterday was my worst day. Um, the kind of backtrack, and I've talked about this so many times. I don't want to just ram it down your throat. Uh, so the short just is I did not have any medicine. I don't have any medicine right now. Um, it cost no insurance and the pricing was like two thousand some dollars. I'm trying to get that fixed right now. Um, I'm working on it. Um, but until then, I was able to see a doctor. Um, she took me without insurance and put me on a plan. Uh, I don't see her every month. It's going to be once every six months until I get my insurance. Uh, but she was able to fill some of my medications that uh, I definitely need. Uh, one being my uh, mental health medication, uh, just one of them, and I was a Wellbutrin 300 milligram, uh, which I have to take, take for two weeks. Um, the other one I think was my Lethoferoxin, um, and there was a sugar pill, and I forget what it's called. It's not metformin. It's got a different name, uh, but it's supposed to help alongside with um, Ozempic, and the reason why it was like a long time ago, it should be on Farxiga, and Ozempic. Uh, I used to be on both of them. Um, but, but, um, I have been uh, experiencing a lot of, like, incredible, like, states of depression. Like, super bad. Really bad. And yesterday was my worst one. Uh, one of these things I do, it's on the tick, and I did it today as soon as I got home. Uh, when I ever get anxiety or depression, and I try to clean things off my mind, um, I usually go cleaning, um, and not just cleaning, I mean, just like really going at it and, um, and there's a trigger and it's just, I don't know why I do it. It's just one of those things I get triggered and I just start cleaning and it helps. Uh, but yesterday I did all kinds of cleaning and, uh, my wife, Mrs. Bits had to see me completely break down and cry. I hate to cry. Um, nothing, you know, when I was brought up. Uh, the way I was brought up, uh, you're a man, you shouldn't cry, feelings are for librarians. See what I did there? I'm, I'm not very many people watched the video, but um, yeah, it's like uh, as a man, you're not really supposed to show your feelings, you're not supposed to express yourself, you're not supposed to cry. Um, I was kind of brought up that way, and you know, I think I beg to differ, honestly. I think it's you know. That doesn't make you weak. Some people do, but she see me just break down, and you know I was out of it. Uh, I was able to get some of my medications. I took them, took a shower. Uh, I was finally able to get a good night's sleep last night because of my sleep meds that I haven't had forever. And I've been trying to use uh, things like um, what's the what's the the vitamin? Oh, melatonin, melatonin. Um, that's not working out well. Did a did for a little bit because I had a high dosage, but um, yeah, it didn't really help. The last time I took that medicine, man, I was felt I uh, I was I was tired when I woke up, uh, but I haven't had that medicine for about a month, uh, or I think about a month because I ran out of that pretty pretty early. Uh, maybe eh, I might be wrong. Might I think it was the end of April, so I I, I could be wrong. I'm not good with time. But it's been a while, and I haven't had it, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've been eating junk, uh, my fault, stupid me. Um, you know, I was doing really good on the dieting, and one of the things I do, and you know what, I can't really fucking put that as a crutch. I can't be like, it's not, it's the mental health's fault that it made me do that. No, I mean, obviously... You know, food is one of those things, especially like sweets and stuff. Makes you feel good, like eating stuff like that, eating a hamburger, or French fries, a piece of cake, or whatever. 
uh, you're feeling bad at the end of the day, the only thing you might want to do is get a beer or milkshake or one of the two or combine them and make some kind of weird combobulation of, I don't even know what that would be considered of, probably very nasty, but uh, don't do that. Um, but you feel good. You feel really good. And uh, that's a big thing with me. Like food is a comfort thing. And that's because I'm a fatty. Um, <laughs> I just, a lot of us are like that. We like food. Food makes us so good. Um, and when you um, don't have diabetes medication and you decide to not follow the diet that you was doing good on, um, you start to get feelings like my sugar was uh, over 400 the other day my fault uh i've gotten neuropathies back again and all that jazz and yes but i i did take that other diabetes medicine so you're probably wondering when am i going to get back to boxing i'm hoping monday i hope i hope so i hope so i hope monday uh, i hope monday we can get back into it um, I also wanted to give you guys a, an update on the whole, we're, we're calling him Rodney Freedom and Chad Gu, uh, wants to hop in on this. This is going to be fun. Um, I, 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 I want to change him a little bit and I want to make him more as a complete satire cartoon character. Um, and I never brainstormed this much before and i've got this other character in mind that somebody else would play um it would be his partner and i just have a storyline i'm thinking of and i want to incorporate it and i want to make it like really really goofy um but yeah i it, i have plans it's all in my head like i wrote some things down i looked at costume ideas especially for the next character um, and he's not going to be played by me. So this has got to be a smaller person, and this this is big. And I and I actually created a weapon for Rodney Freedom, which is going to be kind of explicit, but it's going to be funny. Um, and I, I I don't know if I can show it on YouTube. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like an uncensored thing. Uh, we'll probably <laughs> I'll have to show it. But I do want to film like little shorts with it, like uh, maybe three to five minute long segments and actually put some effort into them um and maybe have one one or two come out a month and if they get more and more popular more and more people want them um um we can try to make time to do that i got a lot of ideas for it i don't know if some some of you guys might be like i think i got tune out um but i really want to make a complete satire of um a lot of the stuff that's going on and I want my character to basically be like Captain America if Captain America was a frat boy redneck um, superhero sort of with I if it works out if I can get it figured out it'll be worth it I promise it's just like I got all these ideas and uh, I want to do like crossovers with other channels and get them involved with it, and just make this really goofy, goofy thing. Um, and I want it to be the most ridiculous thing I could possibly come up. And like, I think it would, I think honestly, if it hits right, I think a lot of people will probably enjoy it. Some people might tune out. It's going to be something in the vein of something you would see on Adult Swim. Um, if that makes sense. If so, if you ever watch things, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Family Guy, Rick and Morty, stuff like that. Not even that, like, no, it's, it's going to be stupid. It's going to be really stupid, but hopefully it's funny. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are going. Uh, I do, like I said, I do have some medications, um, working, um, to get insurance, um, especially through my current job. Um, I'm working to get a full-time permanent there, and I've been in talks with uh, my supervisor about that and how that's going. Uh, I've also been looking at other means of insurance to try to get this medication. I used to have an Ozempic card, and I was supposed to knock it down to $25, but it doesn't work unless you have insurance already. So, and Ozempic really was doing really good for me. Like, it was doing awesome for me one shot a week and i was good 
my my a a one c was great everything and i was just it was like the miracle drug and dude like it, i just don't understand how you could price that stuff so high it's just insane uh, but i wanted to give you guys an update and um hopefully we can do more soon so hang in there guys i love you be sure to hit that subscribe button i'll see you soon